Today is a pretty damn good day. Not only uh, did I come back from my seven day vacation in Tibet where I had an epiphany and I finally figured out how to run Barbie Explorer for PlayStation 1 on my SNES Classic, but uh, Cluster updated the Hexi code to basically address the power leak issue that was causing some systems to overheat when you have the custom kernel installed. Anyways, uh, we're going to take one of my absolute favorite games here for PlayStation 1 Barbie Explorer, and I'm not kidding here, I'm serious. I would go to the ends of the earth for this game. But I'm going to crush it down to a smaller size and get it to run on my SNES Classic. So we're going to look at the source file here. We're going to extract it and see what I have to work with here. Let's see if there's enough room for Barbie's Dream House on my SNES Classic. And see how much memory I have to work with here. And that 300 is an improper number. Just remember that. Until you turn the system on, you will never get a proper read. So I'm going to turn the system on and see what I have as a proper read once it connects to the Clover shell. So this 300 is pretty much a recommended number for the NES Classic. It just carried over within the Hashi code, but it is an improper number. The true number is going to pop up once Clover shell connects. So I have about 233.1 megabytes I can work with, and I do have a few HMODs installed. Now let's see how big this Barbie game is. What the hell? 267 megabytes? I'm going to lose sleep over this. I'm just going to crush your dream house down to size. I'm going to use a few of my favorite tools here. I'm going to take Daemon tools. And I'm going to mount this game to Daemon tools. See what we have to work with here. And I'm multitasking right now, so it might take a, a just a second to get into what I have to do. So I'm going to mount the Barbie image on here and see what size it's at. And if you ever try to mount a game and you get an error, just... Pretty much unmount the whole device, the whole virtual drive, and you should be good to go. But as of right now, I'm going to rip this to an ISO using another program I have. So I'm going to open up my command prompt. And I'm going to use the classic DOS prompts to go back. And I'm going to use this nifty program called Turbo Rip. Now I'm going to rip the ISO right out of this game, and we're going to see how that works. Now I have it mounted on there right now, so I'm choosing that drive. Now we're ripping the ISO out of the game. Then I'm going to crush it down to a working size, and just smash that Barbie dream house out of the picture completely. And sorry about the the camera falling a little bit out of the wayward side. Let's see what we have here. Go into my Turbo Rip folder. Now I have the ISO here that I can work with, and I'm going to use yet another program to crush that down in size. It's a multi-tiered process here, but you'll get the idea in a moment. I'm going to use Pocket S Pocket ISO, which is a fantastic program for ripping audio and video out of PlayStation 1 games, and it especially works quite well for the NES Classic, SNES Classic, since we're limited on memory here. So I'm going to select the ISO from my Turbo Rip folder. And I'm going to analyze it to see if there are videos or music that I can remove. And there's quite a few audio streams that I can remove, so I'm going to select all and just remove them all. I'm going to process the ISO. Now at this point, the ISO that you're working with, you'd want to make a backup of in case you want to do anything with it because it's going to literally just rip the audio out of it or the videos out of it. So I'm going to do a little backup folder here. 
That way I have a backup of this file which is about to be changed in its integrity. So once I have that backup, I'm going to manipulate this file. And here's my temporary backup files that are going to replace this ISO here. Now that that backup is complete, I'm going to uncompress it. And when I uncompress it, the audio streams are completely removed. Now I'm going to take this to one more step. I'm going to open up yet another program. As I said, it's a multi-tier process here. And this is, has been great for PSP, especially when you have the memory duo cards that have limited memory. I'm going to open up my PopStation GUI, GUI. I have my compression level set to 9. I'm going to open up the PlayStation 1 image that I just did. And I'm going to compress it. Audio is removed, and I'm going to compress it. And we're going to see what we get this game down to. We want the dream house out of this game so it'll fit in my SNES Classic. We're going to rip one more game after this, and then we're going to have fun playing around with them. Okay, let's see what we got this to. We officially got this to 42 megabytes. So I'm going to add that to my SNES Classic. So we literally knocked uh, 220 megabytes off the overall size here. So let's add that. And you're going to want to pick all files so you can actually see the file. I'm adding the eBoot PBP file. And I'm also going to install the cords for PlayStation 1 so I can run this awesome game. And I'm going to do my proper command line changes so it runs. So I'm going to change this and designate it with my prefix of PlayStation 1, which would be PSX and Barbie Explorer, of course. My command line says bin PVP. And remember, the extension is what this ends up being for the bin forward slash. But if I'm going to run my PlayStation 1 here, I'm going to need two specific cores installed. I'm going to need my RetroArch that I did custom for the SNES Classic. It's going to be RetroArch Standard, SNES Classic. And it, the last one I did was from October 8th. But I already have that installed. I'm going to need the PlayStation 1 one as well. And I'm going to use my PlayStation Rearmed Neon. And if you look at the command line arguments here, I can do bin forward slash PSX. So I'm going to change it to that. But I also have to install that after I do this. Of course, I'm going to add my artwork. I have to have my fantastic Barbie artwork here just to make the game nice and shiny on the system. So now we have officially the 3D quest is hell art for Barbie Explorer. Anyways, I'm going to install the core that I need for this. Let's see what cores I have installed right now, of course. Okay, the only thing I'm going to run today is Sega CD, so I have to make sure I install that as well. So I have my standard RetroArch SNES Classic installed, but I'm also going to want to run Sega CD and PlayStation 1 today. So I'm looking at my BIOS configurations here. I'm going to need the BIOS for Genesis Plus GX and Pico Drive Sega CD required BIOS. So I need that. Then I'm going to look at my BIOS for PlayStation 1. And they're optional. This means you do not need the BIOS unless you really want to install them. Then I'm going to install my PlayStation 1, which would be the PC SX Rearm Neon. And then you're going to have to do the FEL mode. Sorry for the camera being screwed up again. Just using my phone. You're going to have to hold the power and the reset button until you get into the FEL recovery mm -hmm. mode. And while those are installing, I'm going to take my other favorite game, Three Ninjas Kickback, and I'm going to get it into a working format for the SNS Classic. Let's see what we can get that down to. So we're going to go to my convoluted folder now, and we're going to extract Three Ninjas Kickback. And this is obvious, obviously going to be a little bit too big to run on the SNS Classic, but I'm going to do a few tweaks and crush this down in size and get it to run. I want to enjoy this 1990s VHS classic in all its full glory with the soundtrack 
and everything. So we're going to give it the run here. So we have uh, 335 megabytes, which is a ridiculously absurd amount to try to even flash onto the NES Classic, let alone the SNES Classic. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to manipulate the files to make them easier to work with. I'm just going to change this Q file to 3 Ninjas. I'm going to change the bin file to 3 Ninjas. And I'm going to open up the Q file. And I'm going to rename this entire thing here to 3 Ninjas. And there's a little bit of a formatting issue when you try ripping these down in size if you do not, if you do have spaces. So I don't want to have spaces. I'm going to save this. Now that's all set to go. I'm going to open up my command prompt window. And I'm going to change directory back. And I'm going to go into my other program that I used to rip these ones. CHD man, which I've done other videos about. Now I'm going to actually change this into a compressed format without ripping the audio or videos out. So I'm doing CHD man to call the executable. Then I'm going to create a CD, and I'm going to make the input file three ninjas with the Q file, which points to all the internals. Then I'm going to make my output file CHD, which is the format I'm going for here. And there are other videos I've done that go a little bit more into detail about this, but I'm just doing a brief rip of it because I want to be able to play these games as soon as possible. So I'm ripping this down size right now, and I'm compressing it. Let's see what size we get here and see if we can get both of these gems of games onto the SNES Classic today and run them. And while that's occurring, I'm going to see what chords I have installed on my SNES Classic. Make sure everything's going to be nice and smooth. So I have my BIOS for the Sega CD. I have my PlayStation 1 core. I have my standard RetroArch core. But I'm also going to need Genesis Plus GX in order to run Sega CD. So I have to install that as well. So we'll install that. Same thing, I'm going to do the power and reset until they install. And then a second ding generally means the Clover Show is taking effect. I really need to get a better setup for the camera I have. Maybe a tripod or such. So we're currently installing Genesis Plus GX. We have everything else installed that we need. And I'm multitasking right now. It's a little bit slower and hashy because I'm also compressing the Sega CD game. After it's done uploading the kernel for the Genesis Plus GX, we're going to add the Three Ninjas kickback, which I hope is at a, a size that I can fit on the S and Classic. I'm not going to be able to rest until I can play both Barbie Explorer for PlayStation 1 and 3 Ninjas kick back untouched with the full audio videos and all that good stuff on the SNES Classic in its very limited NAND flash mm -hmm. memory. So let's see what size we got this to. I'm just going to let it be a surprise. So we have all the cords we need installed, now we just have to flash the games over. So let's add 3 Ninjas Kickback here. We got it to a nifty 169 megabyte file. That's 220 plus megabytes smaller than it was initially. So we're going to install that to the SNES Classic and do the proper command lines for it. So it looks like I should be able to run both of these. I even have room to run Barbie for SNES on here as well if I really want to. So that's processing into the memory for Hashi. Should be about done. Now I'm just going to change my command line accordingly so it will actually work with the Genesis Plus GX core. And the larger the file is, the longer it takes to load into Hashi. This is a 169 megabyte file, so it's going to take 
just a little bit of time. Plus, I have a bunch of other stuff running on the computer right now, so it's going to be just a little bit slower than normal. Okay, we got that. Now I'm going to change this to my prefix for Sega CD with a semicolon and just call it Three Ninjas Kickback. And I have to change this command line. CHD is the extension, but I'm going to look at my Genesis Plus GX core and see what it should be. I designated it to be Ben Ford slash Sega CD. But for you UK users, I'm going to add the extension for Mega CD in one of my next updates. But as of right now, I'm doing Ben Ford slash, and I'm going to make it Sega CD. And then I have to add this illustrious art here for it. So we have three ninjas kick back for Sega CD. Then we have PlayStation 1 Barbie Explorer. And my settings for pages folder structure, I have custom show folder manager every time. So I'm going to do that. And I have them in my unsorted folder. I'm going to leave that as is for right now. And I'm going to flash them over to the NES Classic. SNES Classic, should I say. And I'm going to switch over to the SNES Classic. And we're going to enjoy Three Ninjas Kickback and Barbie Explorer in their, all their glory.